Hey guys, I'm here with Jason Shelley. Uh, we've known Jason for a very, very long time. Um, we actually featured his Peterbilt, had it been like 04-ish? Maybe, yeah. So I, I think a lot of people know him for the black Kenworth. It had three different sleepers on it. Yep. Uh, last being a big ICT, was yeah. it an ICT? Okay. Yeah. Um, but he's also had a Volvo, a Freightliner, mm -hmm. a cab over Freightliner. Mm -hmm. So I'll, I'll, and I'll, I'll throw all those up on the screen in, in a picture form just so you can see what we're talking about. Um, but now he's got this, what year is this? 07. Okay, 07 Western Star. And it's got a, a pretty good story behind it. So how did you wind up getting it and how did you build it? Yeah, so I sold my Kenworth and just was kind of having some fun with different stuff. I had an A model actually traded in on the, the L model that was originally mine before Chris had it. Ran that for about a year, moved into a Volvo, had fun with that, ended up getting a deal on a classic Freightliner. And this came up on the internet, but it was ugly. It still had the car carrier rack on it, and okay. it was purple. Wow. And it had that Western Star peel and paint, and I kept on looking at it, and I just finally said, hey, I'm going to go over and check it out, which it wasn't far from here, a couple hours. And I got there, and I could just kind of see what it could be. One owner, one driver, carpet was covered in plastic, original, and wow. the mattress. So I'm like, you know what? And a fresh overhaul. So I sprung the 20 grand for it and brought it home. <laughs> <laughs> and I had to give the rack back. But I just, I always liked this truck. And I always thought it could be cool with stacks on it and pulling a reefer. Kind of hard to envision pulling a car carrier, but I knew it was there. Yeah. So that's kind of how that came about. Okay. Yeah. So what all, I, I mean, I noticed that you guys waffled the back wall. The back wall was so hammered from running cars in the back of it. Uh-huh. And I originally bought this truck like the Volvo and the Freightliner to flip. Okay. So I said, you know what, cost effective, we're just going to skin the back wall, slap some paint on it, and probably move it within a couple months, was my intention. Okay, well, that didn't, didn't happen. No, and, and <laughs> the reason being is I started driving it. I was like, man, I really like this. Don't tell my buddies, but I was like, this truck is nice. I liked everything about it, so... Now I'm kind of backtracking because I'm doing stuff to the truck in the last couple of years I probably should have done off the bat, but I just, I'm kind of having fun picking at it. Yeah, no, it, it is super cool. Yeah, thanks. I mean, I, like I told you off camera, I get, I get hammered all the time. People complain I don't do anything with trucks other than Kenworth and Peterbilt. And send me pictures of trucks that look like this and I'll, I'll, do, I'll do features on them and videos on them. This is, this is just so cool. I guarantee you get more comments than anybody does in, in like a, a 389 Pete, most likely. Yeah, and I, I appreciate Pete's and Kenworth's. I've had them, and I'm not saying I never will again. But you say that, and I say this with all honesty, I get more compliments on this truck than any other truck I've ever had. And I don't necessarily think it's a truck. I really think it's the colors. I'll have that non-truck person say, I don't know anything about trucks, but this thing's cool. Yeah. And I'm like, it registers with our generation, the colors, and I think it just kind of clicks. Yeah, yeah, I'm for sure. It just pops. I mean, it yeah. blows going down the road. And the kids make fun of it. They call it the Ronald McDonald stripes or in and out stripes. <laughs> but I get it. They're not of our era. Like, I had a guy recently say, I had a Hot Wheel, I don't know what kind of car, but the same colors. Yeah, but this is this is more of an '80s. Yeah, and and I I love those stripes. Yeah, you know I love those color, colors that pop and and nobody stripes their trailers hardly anymore. They just do the rails and and that makes it really unique too. So yeah, it's it's just such a cool combo. Yeah. So thanks. Uh, what's it got for a motor? Series 60 Detroit, which was you know coming out of a cat for 20 years. I was like eh, but I've I've grown to appreciate it. And it's that truck that people want, you know, 07, pre-emission, pre-LD. So I'm working with it. Yeah. No, and I just really appreciate Steve and Michelle, what they've done for the industry, how you've grown with it for the last 20 plus years. Yeah, 20. You know, you took yeah. a passion of trucks and made it your career, so to speak. And even with the age of our children right now, that's what I'm telling them. Like, hey, if you find something you love, 
and make it a career and make it your passion, you'll never work a day in your life. And that's how I feel about trucking. I'm third Absolutely. generation. My grandfather was a trucker farmer. My dad was a trucker. I'm a trucker. And I, I've really never worked a day in my life. I look forward to going to work almost every day. And I know I'm pushing Steve here because I got to go load, but you know, <laughs> that's just the way it is. Yeah. No. And, I, and, I, and I see that what you've done and included your family, you know, the girls came along, they were at the shows, they were doing the magazines, they were doing the t-shirts. And that's kind of what we did too. Our kids were always somewhat involved with us in the business one, one way or another. Yeah. So I appreciate what you guys have done. No, thank you. Sure. I appreciate that. And I appreciate everything you've done. Yeah, it's well. been fun. It has Hopefully been. Hopefully we can do it a long time yet. Yeah, we're going to keep going until we can't do it anymore. So I don't know how to do anything else. So. I know me either, so <laughs> <laughs> so we're yeah. kind of stuck, but yeah. stuck in a good place for sure. Yeah. So and, it, and I was telling you earlier, too, it's about the relationships for me. Maybe not 20 years ago, but the older you get, you establish rela these relationships that kind of only happen in this industry. Yes. You know, you can pass somebody on the road three times a month and then connect with them once a year, and it's like, you, you never lost anything. Yep. You pick up right where you left off. So I appreciate, and that's part of buying and selling trucks too. That's fun for me because I could know somebody else. Yeah. And so it's about the relationship and this has been really cool. So thank you. Yeah, thank you. Well, yeah. well I guess I'll let you uh, get going and, and get loaded and we will do some video along the way. Okay. So thank you very much. Oh, you best, Steve. Thank you.